every king, every queen should have a throne from which they rule. A physical manifestation of their power over the masses. Westeros, the Iron Throne, the Chrysanthemum Throne of Japan, the Dragon Throne of Beijing, all seats of power from which dangerous men and women ruled. Here's mine. <laughs> awesome, right? Yeah, no. Okay, but we're gonna make it that way because that's what I do. So let's do that now. So this is the chair we're going to be working on, my throne. All right, so this is the chair. I will be ruling all I survey or Basically the chair I'll be sitting in when my wife tells me what to do. Either way, it's still a chair. All right, so we got this chair on the side of the road. Yeah, I said it, side of the road. Uh, it's in pretty good shape. It's not broken or anything, but it's just nasty and old. It needs to be taken out and redone. And it's free. So if I mess it up and this episode becomes an epic fail, it didn't really cost me anything. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. First thing we need to do is just get it torn down and uh, sand it up and see what needs to be repaired, if there's anything, and figure out, get a game plan what we're gonna do with it. I have some ideas what I wanna do with it, but we'll see if that works, all right? So let's do that now. pretty much stripped down. Uh, I need to uh, use some wood glue and some screws and there's a couple of loose spots that I need to tighten up and get some of the a couple more staples out of it and then uh, we just get it get it sand down and uh, I need to figure out what kind of material I want to use and uh, I have to the braces pieces that the cushion were stapled to that go around the inside here um, the wood's kind of rotten, so I'm going to buy some more wood, cut out the pattern, and redo uh, brand new pieces for it. Um, and then uh, we'll go from there. Uh, it's still in pretty good shape. There was a couple of, couple of pieces of cracked wood. I'm going to put some screws and some glue in it. I think it should probably hold pretty well. Nothing too bad. Um, nothing really needs to, none of the frame needs to be replaced. Uh, a couple, of, we'll have to strengthen it up a couple spots, and then we'll get it going. All right, so we're done with taking all the nasty stuff off. All right, so we got it strengthened. I, I strengthened up some pieces that were a little loose and wobbly, and I got it all sanded down. And I sanded down a bunch of stuff, and I 
carved out these pieces here, which I'm going to do some resin in inlays or whatever you want to call it. But right now what I want to do is I want to get a, a uh, layer of primer on it because I'm going to paint it. The wood's kind of ugly, so I don't want to stain it. So I'm going to paint it, but I want to get a layer of primer on it to see if there's any spots that need to be re-sanded or anything like that, it'll come out with the primer. So I'm going to do that right now and then uh, let it sit for a day or so and then I'll come back and probably touch up some spots. Okay, so as you can probably tell from my sweat-soaked shirt, say that 10 times fast, it's hot as the devil's details out here right now, and I haven't even started yet. <laughs> I haven't done anything except for set up the camera, and I'm already drenched. Um, it's really hot in Bangkok, as, as you can probably already know that. Um, but uh, no better time to get some sanding done. So what I gotta do is just get the, the finishing sanding done on the chair, gotta get all the rough edges, some of the stuff that I, I, I had a huge malfunction so I'm gonna have to clean up a little bit of a mess that I made. Uh, everything else is ready to go. And then once I get it sanded down and painted, I will let the paint dry. And then I have the upholstery stuffing coming here. It should be here today. And then we'll get the upholstery on. And hopefully tomorrow I can just get the, the final little details, the little, the little uh, what are they called? The accoutrement on it. A couple of little surprises that I have for you. And then we're done, we're done with the chair. Um, I think it's gonna look pretty good, all right? My throne is almost ready for its king. <laughs> all right, so we need to get these springs attached back onto here. Fun, fun, fun. So let's do that. I'm for a love potion, a little sweet and spice. Throw it all in a cauldron, mix it up real nice. Fire in my eyes, stir counterclockwise. I dream of you all night. All right, so what we got to do is get the material on, get the cushion put in. Get the cushion put in, get the material put on, the piping, and then I'm going to get my my special back piece that you don't know anything about. We're gonna do that, get that in, and we're, we've got a done project. We're done deal. My throne is done. I can sit upon my throne and survey all that I own, okay? From recycle. And it's all from a, a chair that we found on the side of the road that smelled like cat pee, but now it doesn't. Now it smells like human pee. <laughs> Kidding. All right, so let's get that done. Walk to you so I can be close to you. It's really simple if you look at it that way. Mm. Time that we get by with money, we don't know. Pockets empty, but us are full anyway. Hey, playing like children, and love like our So this was a fun project. It was fun because I had no idea if I could do it or not, uh, but like most of my projects. I actually should change my name. I actually changed the channel name from Chimera Craft to 
I hope this works or I'm surprised I'm just as surprised as you are it's a long name but probably a little more apt anyway so um, we found this chair my wife and I are driving on the motorcycle coming home for dinner and we saw one of our neighbors had moved out and they had a bunch of just a bunch of trash or crap on the side of the road and the chair was just sitting there by itself like a lonely little blah blah so I stopped and my wife went what are you stopping for and I was like look at that chair she was like, yeah, I can smell the cat pee from here. And I was like, yeah, but it just looks lonely. It looks like it needs some TLC. And hey, I do TLC for a living. No, I don't. I do TLC on the side. Little side TLC, that's funny. Anyway, so we took the chair, put it on the back of the motorcycle. She was a trooper, she held it. We only had like two blocks to go. She carried this chair on the back of the motorcycle while I drove. <clears throat> Not a lot of chivalry. She could carry it. She did okay. Anyway, we got it home and sat on the front porch for about two weeks and I, until I decided in my head what I wanted to do with it, color schemes and if I could even fix it, I didn't know. So I got it taken apart. You guys saw some of that. Um, I wasn't sure if I could do it or not. Honestly, it was one of those, another one of those things is like, that could be another name for the channel. I don't know if I could do this or not. Um, but I took it apart slapped in some screws and some and some extra wood glue and I and I <clears throat> disassembled it and I reassembled it. Are you ready to take a look? Huh? You wanna see how it turned out? Let's do that now. Time for a love potion, a little sweet and spice. Throw it all in a cauldron, mix it up real nice. Fire in my eyes, stir counterclockwise. I dream of you all night. All right, so I hope you liked this episode. It was fun. Uh, honestly, it was one of those things that I was gonna have to take it apart and see if I could even fix it. If it was just gonna be a wobbly old chair, I wasn't even gonna do the episode, but I think it turned out pretty cool. So if you like this, go back and watch some of my other videos. Um, I did some, uh, some cool projects uh, and I've got some cool projects in the process. So if you liked it, please hit that like, that share, that subscribe, come back and view some more videos. Um, I've got some cool stuff in my head that I want to put out on, you know, put into a project. I got some cool ideas that I can add some stuff to my living room, some fun toys I want to make, um, some cool stuff. So hit that like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.